Good afternoon YouTube. Here we have a quick demonstration on how you can re-wax your flat or you can even do your round uh, laces. So a lot of the old school style laces they had waxed laces because um, the wax actually helped protect the uh, cotton strands so they wouldn't rot. So this pair right here I just uh, finished re-waxing them and then here is the set that I pulled off and it just kind of as time goes by they get old they get dirty so what you do is you take just a damp cloth and you just kind of pull it through just to clean it off you do that on both sides, get some of the main dirt off of it and everything. Kind of re-flatten it out if it has any frays anywhere. And as you do that, just check it, make sure there's no major issues. But once you have that all done, before, what you'll do is you want to make a kind of a wax base. This is a combination of beeswax. You can purchase this at any health food store. You can look up uh, beekeeper in your area. Sometimes they sell it. Uh, boiled linseed oil. You get this at Home Depot, Ace Hardware, any of your hardware stores. And turpentine. They call it uh, gum spirits. Now this stuff is flammable and you need to be really careful how you make it. Uh, you go online, there's a couple other videos that guys do on how to make this stuff, but it's basically one part. One, one, one. Um, a third cup of this, a third cup of that, a third cup of that. There's no real exact science to it. But you want to do a double burner. Basically, you want to do it outdoors, not inside. You want to do uh, a pot of water, and then you'll want to put in either uh, Pyrex-like glass that's uh, heat, uh, heat resistant, won't crack. And as you boil that water, you slowly melt the, oil, um, the wax. Then I would put in the linseed oil, and then I'd add the turpentine after, mix it up. And you kind of get this consistency. This is pretty old. It's been around in the garage for a while, but it still works. So you want to get some, a little bit on your finger like that. And just kind of start at one end. Just kind of uh, liberally apply it on both ends and just pull it all the way through. As you do that, it kind of impregnates it, gets it all the way inside there, and you'll flatten it out even more. If it's round laces, of course, they'll stay round. Just kind of flatten it out and draw it through there. There's no real too much, too little. So as you do that, you just kind of get all that in there, and it starts looking really factory new. So, once you get it all the way done, what I do, once you pull it all the way through, then I just kind of get this rag again on a dry spot, and this just kind of evens it out. You pull it all the way through, and it helps the wax kind of push it all the way in, makes it so you don't have any big pieces on it. So. That is how you re-wax your laces for your Iron Rangers. Uh, this wax can also be used on leather. It can be used on wood. I've refinished a, a table with it. Turpentine, beeswax, boiled linseed oil. Pretty simple, pretty safe, pretty effective. Has a turpentine-like smell, but it's not too bad. If you have any questions, shoot them my way. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and have a wonderful afternoon. Adios.